setting up your email on Hostinger is really easy. Mine might look a little different than yours because my domain is still being transferred as we speak during the recording of this. So mine will look a little weird, but it's just because of that. I know what I know now. I'd wait till the domain has transferred to set up your email, but it's still not a big deal if you don't. So to start off, we're going to go on here, boom, email. Then we're going to go over here, dink. That's the domain we want to set it up. Click on that. It's thinking. And now select your plan. I go with the free one because I'm cheap. Here I've selected, I just keep it at info because that's what I want, but that's where you would change to whatever you want to change it to and then create. And then voila, it's that easy. Now you can choose browser. It'll give you how to hook up and log in. You can do the app if you want to use your phone. I'll just skip this for now. You'll figure it out. But that is as easy as that. That is how you set it up. So you can see here that I'm still waiting on my domain to get registered. Scrolling down here, my external domain. Doot, 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 doot. We're just going to think about it for. And then here we see this is where my websites are. Click on that if I want to edit the website. Go back into it. Here we are. Then I click on here so I can see what it would look like if it's on someone's phone and I can make the necessary changes to it so it looks good. And then you go live. Or if you've already gone live, then just click on update website. And it's that easy. You're live. Now this looks a little weird because at the moment of this, my domain hadn't transferred yet. But not a big deal. So when you're trying to set up for your email. You'll be on your dashboard, click on emails, then go down to connect apps and devices and you'll be on this page. Scroll down and under manual configuration this is what you're going to put in to your email app. So like on my phone I use the, the Android app for the email. So you're going to make sure your incoming server, uh, IMAP, has this address and make sure that port number is showing. Then on the outgoing SMTP, make sure that is showing and port 465. And then it will configure. Ta-da!